Hello everyone and welcome back to Dave the Diver. So this time we're 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 going to try to get down to the access road this time and not get distracted. Uh so yeah. That's what we're going to do. If we go to our to-do list. So we need white trevally, kelp and soy sauce. I think we have those, or maybe we're still missing... I think we're still missing soy sauce. So we're going to be working on that. Um, yeah, we're going to go on there and try to clear the steak. And then in a day, we have the event for jellyfish. Okay, so we're starting this day. We are going to check out what we have. I think the waterproof box is going to be great. And yeah, let's go ahead and grab that and dive on in. All right, here we go. Hopefully we get something good in here. Just what we needed, soy sauce. Let's go. Excellent. All right. just gonna collect some stuff and then we're gonna head down below ooh shock harpoon sweet okay so we basically need to go almost straight down but I think towards the right is probably a little easier we will have to see it's not as a roundabout way um uh, Sure, I'll take the baseball bat. It's not really my favorite, but that's all right. Let's see if we can get a whole bunch of fish. Yeah, because that's the problem is when they group up and stuff. There you go. Oh, got two. There we go. I think you can only really hold 10. So we'll see. Okay. Let's see what kind of weapon thing we have here. No, I think I'm good. Okay. We're just going down. Oh, great. There we go. Great. We wanted those jellyfish. There we go. Check that out. Sweet. Okay. So what we're going to do is put this here. Then we're going to put the soy sauce. We're also going to put the jellyfish. We'll do the tentacle as well. We'll do that thorn. We'll pretty much do almost all the fish, I'm assuming. Wow, we really could do all of it. Nice. All right. And yeah, sweet. Let's head on down. Well, not exactly where I thought it was going to go. We got to head a little further to the right. Excuse me. Oh, nice. We did need to get one of those. And look at that ammo refill. Sweet. Let's see what we get in here. Oh, perfect. Perfect. There we go. Alright, finish that off for the Titan Trigger Fish. Keep forgetting we could break these down. Alright. 
Might as well get some of these. Ooh, nice. We'll grab a couple extra. Couldn't hurt. I just saw some stuff down here I wanted to grab. Got us a leg bone. Got some miso. And then we'll see what we have in here. A tennis racket. Sure. Tennis racket is fun because we can knock away some stuff. Alright, we're gonna head down. Just waiting to run into some kind of big uh, predator or something. Gotta dodge that. All right, great. Now we just have to make sure we have the right equipment. There we go, that's what we needed. Orange starfish. Switch. All right, great. I think we wanted to head this way because I think there was some jellyfish. Ow. That was rude. Okay. Wow. Level three enhanced harpoon tip. I do not need the... Oh! I do not need the rubber chicken. There we go, that's what I wanted, the pickaxe. So we can get this uh, stuff over here. Opal ore, that's what it is. Here we go. Huh. Is this a sea building? The door's locked. Ow. Hmm. I want to try and get more, but... There we go.
Excellent. Alright. Ooh. I shouldn't get more because I'm already really slow. Only about 0.1 pounds though. What can I get rid of that's 0.1? Yeah, I'll get rid of that wood. There we go. Now we can move freely. I just wanted to pick those up. Because, um... The uh, jellyfish thing. Huh, is that pile of rocks moving around? Oh, the octopus! Ow, that's rude. Er, it's the octopus from last time. It's spraying ink again. Won't let you get away this time. Just wait. Octopus returns. Don't worry. I know exactly how we can fix this. We can grab this now. Because we have the diving gloves. And essentially what you do. Is you go over here. Get above this. And then you drop it. Boom. We will swap that out. Oh, wait. You need to do it more than once. And boom. Great, the path is clear. Just wait, you octopus. Don't worry, we will follow it. There he is. Hey, how dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with this. Ask Bancho for takoyaki. Don't you go through there. He went through there! I mean, he opened up the path, so I mean, I appreciate it, but still, it's rude. I ran away again. It's definitely quick. But don't worry, we got this. Hmm, it dropped something again. Hmm, it always leaves something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. I don't know, it is kind of rude. Seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Nice. Let's go. And we're right there exactly at that weight limit. Oh, we do have to go around. All right. Let's go down in here. Oh no. Five pounds over. I think it'll be fine. Well, I want this one too. Okay, we found him. Now we just need to swim all the way up here. Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you were eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Bacon, hee <laughs> hee. In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, okay. Wait a moment. Let me try and pull. 
Don't worry, I'm gonna do it. There we go. Oh no, get out of the way. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. It's not done yet. It's effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Convenient. Um, there's no movable device over there. I have to check it out first. It's right there. You can see it. So to get this, we're going to have to go a good ways. So, yeah. Might needed to have uh, lost a little bit of stuff over here. But look, jellyfish. Alright, don't kill me. I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff. Let's go. Boom. Alright, there's so much new stuff I want. I will get rid of the leg bone. As well as this other one. Brown seashell. And probably get rid of those as well. There we go. See, and we're fine. Tranquilizer. This will help. And then we swim past very, very quickly. Because it will fly at us and explode. Yep, just like that. Didn't realize it would keep chasing us. Ow, rude. Ah, uh, why? I'm sorry, please no. I don't like this. I just need to do that just to get it off me. Ow. Why? Why all these things would be so rude? There's a stake in the back if I pull that out. Don't worry, I'm gonna do it. Alright, let's go. Oh. Nice. I'm so strong. Alright, here we go. Kaboom! And there it goes. Wow, human. Good, we have a path. You're more useful than you look. The village is very close. Come in through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. Wait, I can leave now, can't I? Would you listen to yourself? Aren't you worried about Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you. So, I would like you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village? Me? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to the human sea. I have a request. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I'll get down there and... You know, forever.
There is some... Yeah, I knew there was one back down here. I remembered seeing it. Okay. Do we need to escort them or just go down? Yeah, just go down. Sweet. There he is. Uh, I'm getting really spooky vibes. I hope I don't have to do a boss fight right here. So, something just moved past me. Human, go on ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Ugh. If I have to fight something, I'm just gonna start dropping stuff because I can't be, <laughs> I can't be encumbered and in a fight. Dangerous creatures presence. Okay, I have to drop stuff. I don't want to drop stuff, but I need to. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. All right, so we're probably going to have to get rid of that one. Get rid of the blue seashells and the kelp. I think we already have some of this. What's our weight at now? Yeah, we're going to need to drop so much. Okay. All right. Here's what I think we're going to do, right? We're going to go back up to the surface. Make sure all of the good stuff we have gets sent back. And then, and the next dive, we'll come straight down and then fight that thing. Sound good? I hope so, because that's what I'm going to do. Just going to go ahead and surface. All right, there we go. And we get... Octopus Weapon Charm. Mysterious weapon chart left behind the octopus. Maybe something cool will happen if it's attached to a gun. It, extra 15% gun base damage added. Wow. Ooh, weapons. Ooh, we could do the uh, poison one. Nice. All right. We've got some new stuff. Oh, I didn't know we had one of those. Oh, here we go. And that too. Nice. Eco watch. Let's go. What can we? There we go. Sweet. Okay. Excellent. All right, Cobra. We got to fight some stiff. Um, I don't know if that'll be effective, but I'm going to take it. Let's change out what gun we have, too. We need something for damage. Well, this looks like damage to me. All right, let's do some quick math here, right? So, 3 times 32 is 96. Over there, we have 15 times 8 which is 120. So I think we go for the underwater rifle. But let's see if we can upgrade it first. Underwater rifle. See, that, that brings it up a lot. And it's pretty cheap, too. That's all we want is enhanced destructive power. Yeah, because it's pretty cheap. Everything else is kind of expensive, which I don't want to burn a, burn a ton of money on. But this one seems cheap and good, so... Let's go.
The music's just great. Love it. And then... Yeah, we need a lot of stuff for that. But that is A-OK -okay because now it automatically equipped it. Great. Okay, so... Let's do it. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay. Let's go. I'm not going to pick up too much stuff. What is this? Just background stuff? Okay. Maybe we can find like a upgrade for this or something. Hey, right, look. Poison. Sick. Okay, so we just need to keep going over and further down. Poison Harpoon level 2, let's go. Oh, jellyfish. I want him so bad. I don't think we can get more than one. Oops. I forgot. We just have the gun. Well, we did it. <laughs> they are a one star. Great. I'm going to go over here and get this. That's kind of sad. I totally forgot we equipped that weapon. Uh, instead of the net. Whoops. There we go. Oh, why? There we go. Oh, didn't really need to do that. Wait. Yeah, we're uh, missing some health here now. Open, we can find some O2. Because I'm really needing it now. Come on. Where's the O2 at? Please. Oh, it's down there. Great. Okay, excellent. We're not going to end this run early. That would have been devastating. Sweet. Let's go. It'll be great for a tiny little bit. Sorry, please don't kill me. Oh no. Gotta go all the way back this way. This is slight slight detour, it's fine. See look, it's not it wasn't a wasted trip. We got the uh, shell. So not down here, although I'm going to check. Could use some more soy sauce. Sesame seed. Okay. Don't know if we have any recipes yet for that, but we will see. Got to check this one too. Olive oil. Nice. All right, blue hole depths. We need to find a flashlight. Oh, 
Perfect. Great. Whoa. Pretty sure this is... Whoa, that's a giant ore fish. But take your picture with the blue plankton next to it. That could make a pretty nice picture. The blue plankton come out here. I think it's going to go through here. So I think I need to focus up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Go up here and then go up here. So yeah, I need to focus up here. It's pretty sick though. I really do have to get it right here, huh? I can't believe I, I held that one. I, I started it for too long and it buggered it. Let's zoom out a little bit. Just have to wait. It looks so cool. Look at that thing. Perfect. See, that's how we do it. Great. Yes. Now we'll come down here and grab this amethyst. Go here and see if we can get a gun upgrade. Oh, level three poison. Let's go. Pretty sure we're going in the right direction. Just straight down, right? Oh, uh, maybe. I'm only slightly lost. Oh yeah, we're too far left. Well, but look, there's, they're right here. person's house again come on I know we're only getting one star but you know just how it has to be sometimes At least I'm not dying for him, though. Oh. What do I want to get rid of? How's that? Oh, no. We need to get rid of a pound. All right. What well, we got this pound? There we go. We'll get rid of one star. Yeah, we're good. Totally fine. Great. All right. Stop getting distracted. We're going to go where we need to. But maybe this is cool. I mean, it was, but not really. Oh, please don't get me. Thank you. I would love to get those, but... Don't have the space for it. All right, I think we're getting back to where we need to. Oh, what is that? Is that a whale shark? It looks like a whale shark. 
Nice. Trying to not get attacked by that thing. Great, we made it. Just need to go down here and... Excuse me. Need to go down here, grab some oxygen, which I think is still here. Yeah, I think these kind of set down at the bottom are like normal spawns for these things. If I'm remembering correctly. Because this is not my first playthrough. Oh. Yeah, don't have to talk to them. Just need to go in here and fight this scary looking thing. Yes. Let's enter. Alright, everybody. Pay attention to these things because we're going to need them. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? True, there's a lot of stuff in it up down here. Look at that thing. Terrifying. Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come along? Wolf eel. What? What is that? There are wolf eels that big? Uh, I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. Grabbing all this. You gotta hold on for dear life. Yep. Oh. Ow. Oh, it looks really tough. Oh, the shiny spot on his tail. It looks weaker than the rest of its body. There we go. Come on, come on. There we go. I don't know if that'll work, but we'll figure it out. Excuse me. Ow. Oh, it works! Nice! And there we go! Super easy! I didn't know the things would work, but they do! Excellent. Ugh. How can a wolf eel be so big? Ahem. I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. Haha! -ha, you're stronger than I expected, human! Look, she looks so happy with me! Now you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. I will, but I must collect my bounty. For two? I'm going to be very over-encumbered. Well, there we go. Investigate the Sea People Gate. Look at this thing. Thing's pretty cool. Whew. We're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Ramo, you have a key, right? Oh no, I left my key back at the... Just kidding. Hee <laughs> hee. I have it here in my bag. Whew. I thought you would ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. Dun, 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 dun. And we're in. Man, look at this cool place. It's so tranquil. The music's so nice. Wow. So this is... Aha, that's right. This is the Sea People Village we live in. 
I think there would be a place like this under the sea. Under the sea. Please don't copyright me. Wait. How? How did a human get in here? Huh? Bravo and Suam. Were you kidnapped by this human? Tenzin awaits you. He's lost sleep worrying about you. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Haha, -ha, allow me. I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it. Just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. All right. Oh, jeez. Tenzin's house. Oh no, look, he's worried. Oh my goodness, Ramo, my daughter. Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy, your daddy was worried out of his wits. Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is this next to you? I thought you'd brought a blue manatee, but this is a human. Hey, that's rude. What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Ramo, I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, the ancient texts have all been lost and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, father. The humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. No, not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Oh. That seems like a problem. Another huge tremor. <laughs> Her face, look at it. See? Something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Uh, hmm. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. Suham said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? I mean, well, even, even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the village's trust, I'll consider your suggestion. Hmm, the village's trust. How does he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? All right, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring. Human, come back here tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. Wait, I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? A request from the sea people. Hmm, since you say you helped my daughter Ramo, I suppose it wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs. Even if you're a human, use this. A mirror. What is this? It looks like an ordinary mirror. The sea people mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Wow! Is such a thing possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civili civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to the village whenever you need. I will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree or the sun, so you can only use it during the day. Oh, and... I'll give you a village map to use. It'll help you find the villagers. Hmm, a teleporting device, a teleportation device. That's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Well, alrighty then. Let's go. We beat it by four meters. Oh, yeah. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? It's a... Giant ore fish! Yeah. I heard the fish was referred to as a god in the ancient times. It really is huge. Amazing. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Oh, bonus 50. Let's go. There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help and keep up the good work. Nice. 
Thumbs up for Boncho. Wrap up your day and get ready at Boncho Sushi. I guess I'll install the sea people when we were on the boat. He said I could go to the village, sea people village with us during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Oh no, look at the time. Boncho Sushi must be open already. I should drive by and check if anything of note happened. Okay. Um, looks like I arrived too late. Should do a little cleanup. Uh-oh. Huh? Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, my work ended just now when I was passing by. I saw the lights were on despite the hour. Bancho seems to have come home already. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. Hee <laughs> hee. Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Oh, come to think of it, I heard he once gave up on cooking because of a certain incident. Yes. Back then, I thought he was gone for good. wonder what that's about. Well, he, he well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present just in case it's still a sore spot for Bancho. I'm thirsty. Can you first give me a glass of beer? Okay. Nice. Perfect. Ah, nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night, like this as I drink. I'll tell you now a bit about Bancho and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. Oh no, a flashback. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. It looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? Do you know the actress Lois Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Lois Crawford. She was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of, is one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing that well. Major has spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country and he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs saw his service. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia use our services, and we had very high standards for the services we provided. I heard that Lo Lois Crawford can be very picky and we are a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. Aha, uh -huh. so there it is. Nobody can beat the level of service and staff at this hotel. We've won many prizes as well, just one thing. You haven't heard the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is, she's famous not only as a chef, but as a gourmet. That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. Hmm, it appears to be a description of her travels but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria Hotels are the best of the best, and yes, she wrote such a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? If I refuse the reservation, we don't really need to take a customer that will purposely try to hurt our reputation, do we? If we do that, she'll probably use an even more crafty way to get at us. She'll send out messages saying that we lack confidence, that we're picky about who we accept and so on. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Um, our hotel's strengths are a long history and tradition as well as our high quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of those things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. Well, we need clean rooms and services that match her taste. We'll treat her as a VIP. 
I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms and about who will receive her. I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that could handle such a tricky customer except you with your long experience from many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. The dinner's at our hotel. Uh, we're going to try to be fancy with it. Yeah, let's try French. We have a fantastic French food at our hotel. It's a pride and joy of Dugong Hotel with a Michelin starred head chef at the helm. But you came at the most inconvenient time. Our head chef is in France on a culinary research trip. The sous chef has taken his place for now and he cooks wonderfully as well. However, our, our upcoming customer is a very difficult one. All right, let's go Japanese. Dugong Hotel's Japanese food has never been a strong suit. We'll only serve udon or simple dumbari. We've been making exceptional projects. However, after we hired Boncho, we've grown quite dramatically. Boncho is famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients and his food has recently featured in an overseas magazine. He might be our dark horse. That means Jap uh, Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Boncho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be all right? Hmm, Boncho's skill is indisputable. However, one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That is what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lars Crawford, after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Boncho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshi. Boncho, are you here? Oh, wow, yeah, he does look a little different. Much younger. Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here, that's good. I've come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want. It's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Bancho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in his resume were top tier, but Bancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me that he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen, busy with something day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. Were you practicing? Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skipped research and practice, Poncho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Poncho, would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? That's right, we have important guests who will increase our reputation, or rather, who might send it plummeting to the ground. Her name is Lois Crawford. She's an actress that inf that's infamously hard to please, and also a gourmet reviewer. It's been about a year since you joined the Dugong Hotel. Our Japanese food team, which was never very strong, received much attention in a short span of time, we can and we can't deny that your contribution to this was great. However, this means that we also get customers who want special treatment. So you mean to say that I should try and please this picky woman, Lois Crawford? Yes. This is important as Dugon Hotel's reputation lies in the balance. Hmm. What do you say? For me, cooking has always been a battle with myself, not with others. Making perfect food has always been my goal, and that won't change no matter who I cook for. I simply use the best ingredients available in the current season and the most suitable recipe. Will that be okay with you? All right, we'll leave the individual dishes in your hand, Boncho. However, I would like to offer input on the method of servicing our guests. All right, you're the expert, Miss Yoshi, when it comes to the servicing food. A sushi course offers various kinds of sushi in a certain order with a few side dishes interspersed in between. It allows you to use sushi to allow customers to try many different types of fish. What do you think of the sushi course? It's also your specialty. I'm very familiar with the method. However, don't you think it will be too ordinary? If you choose to go with this, we'll likely use tuna sushi, pike eel sushi, or olive flounder sushi as the main dish. Olive flour being in season right now. That won't be very impressive, however. Hmm, alright. 
Since it'll be a dinner, I think a course would be better than a single dish. That means it'll probably be better to employ a western course format instead. That'll be a bit different from the traditional method. I think I could add soup and hors d'oeuvre, sashimi, side dishes, sushi, tempura, and dessert to the course. What do you think? Not bad. So what will you make for each dish? There's a soup to begin with. A few minutes later. Yes, I think that'll be fine up to the sushi. Tempura is next. I suppose shrimp would be the most logical choice. Hmm, it's difficult to create any impact with shrimp. We've kept everything pretty normal so far, so this is where we add a little spice. Been researching this very topic. How does something like this sound? You must have a good idea. Let's hear it. Shark. I'm thinking of a dish that uses a shark head. What? A shark? Can sharks be eaten? Sharks are a very tasty fish. This is the time of year when they grow fat, boosting the flavor. The meat in the cheeks in particular has a lovely chewy texture, which reminds you of both ordinary meat and fish. But shark is too exotic an ingredient. Couldn't we use something a little more widely consumed? Especially considering this is Lois Crawford. Good food will impress anyone. Anyone who takes a bite will recognize the food for what it is. That is the best possible food that can be found around here in the current season. Um, I'll give it some thought. I'm not sure if it'll be okay. I can't help but think that's not a great of an idea, Boncho. Hmm. If you serve that dish and things go sideways, the consequences won't affect you alone. Both the manager and I will also take part of the blind. After all, she's coming to the Dugong Hotel, not a restaurant operated by you. A hotel must seek to provide the most restful and enjoyable experience to its guests. Nothing can be allowed to mar that experience as the hotel will stand to lose by it. There's no guarantee she'll hate it. She'll know from taking just a bite that it's one of the greatest foods. There's always an exception to the rule. She's an extremely picky person after all. What a pity. I understand. I'll go with shrimp tempura then. Though it can't compare to shark. Uh oh. Here comes the troublemaker. This way, Miss Crawford. Thank you. This is the chef who will be preparing your food today. Pancho. Hmm, he's younger than I expected. I was hoping for a slightly more experienced chef. Oh my, tight lip, are we? Perhaps my looks leave you at a loss for words. Ha ha ha. He seems a little tense. I'm still quite a skilled... He's still quite a skilled chef, I assure you. I'll be looking forward to the food then. I remember the service here being quite alright for an old hotel. I like the carpet and the paintings on the walls as well. Furnishings at Gloria Hotel have a kitsch quality to them that I don't like. But to think there's no gem, that's a bit of a shocker. I need to exercise daily to maintain my figure. It was our intention that your stay be as restful as possible. Oh, good comeback. Everyone has their preferred way of resting. Well, the bathing facilities were good, so I'll content myself with that. So what's for dinner? A Japanese course meal. Here's the course menu. First dishes are, let's see, steamed snapper, snapper and yam soup, steamed egg, or pickled olive flounder fins. Let's go with a steamed egg. This strained egg steamed with dashi and other ingredients. You'll find lily root, shrimp, ginkgo net, and mushrooms inside. Steamed egg. I was expecting one a bit more special. Well, I suppose there are a few ingredients inside. It was also made with love to bring out the best flavor for the guests. Haha. <laughs> and the next dish is... A few minutes later... So, the tempura and dessert are left. What's the tempura? Don't tell me it's shrimp. That sort of commonly served with rice, huh? The dessert's no doubt the usual fruit. I suppose I tasted basically everything. It's hard to decipher a reaction. Have we succeeded? How do you like it? Are you happy with our Japanese food? Well, it's about as good as I expected it to be, I suppose. I suppose I could come here and eat every now and then, but why bother coming to a hotel to eat food that's quite average? Ha ha ha. It, even so, I'm sure our food is better than that of most other restaurants. The moment I saw the steamed egg, I had a feeling the food would be average, and I was right. Oh dear, it seems Japanese food isn't all that to your liking. Ignorant of that fact, we served you Japanese. My mistake, please accept my apologies. Whatever, it wasn't that good, but it was healthy at least. This hotel doesn't even have a gym, so I suppose the food should be healthy at the very least. <laughs> Rude. Um, may I have a word? Pancho! 
Allow me to introduce myself again. I am the master chef who works here, Bancho. I'm not much of a speaker, so I've been listening quietly. I find it impossible to maintain my silence now, however. Oh my, do you have something to tell me? Apparently, you're supposed to have better food than anyone else, right? Now, now, Bancho. Miss Lois, here is just... It's most definitely my fault for failing to prepare food that satisfies you. Will you not give me a chance to make up for my mistake? What? Oh, well, gosh, I'm a very busy person. What you witness today aren't my real skills. I'll serve you food that can objectively be called good. Bancho, you can't be talking about... Hmm, so you're saying you have something else you think will satisfy me? All right, I'll wait, but remember, my time is valuable. Our food has better... Your food had better be amazing. Bancho, you can't be thinking of... What is it, Miss Yoshi? Is there something I'm missing? All done. Oh, man. Oof. This is whole sh roasted shark head. Oh my god. Th this is... You fried the whole head? It's an amazing dish. The meat in the cheeks hasn't been cut out. I choose to fry the head whole to preserve the supple texture. You'll never taste something like this anywhere else. It's a high quality dish made using the best possible ingredients. Get that out of my sight. How can you call this food? What are you saying? Just take a bite. I guarantee you'll be transported to heaven. I'm not happy about this. Is this what service is like at the Dugong Hotel? It's all, it's, it's all my fault. I apologize. Now, Bancho, Yoshi, you apologize as well. I'm sorry, Miss Lois. I should have been more vigilant. Looks are not all there is to food. Why do you refuse even to try it, Miss Lois? Bancho, now is not the time to... I find this highly unpleasant. Is this some kind of hidden camera prank or a punishment? You'll pay for treating me this way. Don't think I'll just let you get away with it. I'm leaving. Cancel my suite. Charge me a cancellation fee if you wish. I don't care. She could have at least tried it. I mean, come on. She's supposed to be a, a, a critique or a, a critic or whatever, you know? Try it. After that, Boncho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It's my, life, my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and the cooking methods that he researched. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was this stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his certain level of skill. Working with you now, he even started social media. I feel something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. Please continue to get along. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. Well, that was an, a really uh, in-depth backstory. Oh, Udo. Sir, the picture you sent me is, was well received. Oh, great to hear that. I hear your superiors... Sorry, I hear my superiors want to assign me another task. Haha! -ha! If I bring them a picture as nice as the previous ones, I have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? And what do you plan to take a picture of? Do you know about manta rays? Of course, they're one of the largest of their kind. I've seen one of those majestic creatures firsthand. Good, I'm planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? Alright, I'm sold. But, but, they're nocturnal, so we need to move at night. And we need some lure to attract them. Sir, I will prepare my equipment. Could you find a lure in the meantime? Huh, I don't know what a ray feeds on. I'm sure you will figure this one out in no time. I will count on you then. Tell me when you got the lure. Hmm. What would manta rays feed on? Ellie is the best when it comes to ecology. Should I give her a call? Oh, here's Dark of Bacon. Oh, Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio either. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You, you what? What happened? Well, you see. I see. I envy you. I do. What a lucky experience. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Why don't you go talk with the residents first? I'd love to go as well, but as you said, only one person can use the Sea People Mirror. What a pity. Ha ha ha! I wasn't expect expected to turn events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra Shop. Yes, I'll have to use the Sea People Mirror first to visit their village.
you can use the mirror Tenzin gave you to immediately travel to the Sea People Village. The mirror is uh, blah, blah. the mirror is solar powered, so unable to be used at night. It's party day today. Prepare the right ingredients and make a fortune. Jellyfish party. Nice. Oh, nice new posts. We also offer deep sea fish sushi. Please come by. Was that really this drunk? How embarrassing. First time with some free time in a while. Nice to see people hard at work so late. Oh, it me! Nice. Yeah, so just need 101 more followers. 42 best tastes and then, ooh, seven more recipes. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, there we go. And the giant wolf eel. Nice. Oh, yeah, eco watch. Deliver that. Do that one. There we go. All right. Excellent. So yeah, next time it looks like we need to build up trust with the sea people, serve food that Mackie wants, and make a phone call. Oh, we can make the phone call to Ellie right now. Ellie. Oh, how's it going? Do you know what manta rays feed on? Hmm. I know what manta rays eat. Oh, really? They feed on planting at night. Drop something that lures glowing plankton at night and they will come. And you will need five kelp to lure plankton. Hmm, it's made of kelp? Not necessarily, but they work too. Just bring me some. All right, I got it. Oh, you got it? Now, input this here. Woohoo. Got some eco points. Hey, this has nothing to do with the lure. Oh, don't be disappointed yet. Ta-da, the lure capsule. Oh, just drop this lure and you will lure all the plankton in the area. It's made of quality ingredients. Goodbye then. I got the lure now. I must tell Udo about it. And we're calling him. Oh, this must be a lure for the manta rays. My mouth is watering. I'm kidding. Anyways, I need to prepare to take some pictures at night. I will call you when I'm ready. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end that episode here. We uh, finally got to the Sea People Village. We fought a boss. And uh, we got to learn Boncho's backstory. So yeah, very exciting episode today. So yeah, be sure to uh, like and subscribe if you're if you like what you're seeing. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, everybody.